Hello, welcome to this video on Tableau. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a combo chart. Basically, a combo chart is a combination chart, or sometimes it's also called a dual axis chart. Basically, this chart is used to represent multiple information on a single chart, or same information in multiple ways on the same chart. And in commonly this chart is represented as a bar chart as a, and a line chart. But as you're going to see in this class, we're also going to add some other variation that you can you can use uh, to represent or rather to show a combo chart. And in this class, I'm using so sample superstore data set, which is also linked uh, below on this video. And therefore, what I'm going to do, I want just to show um, the sales and profit uh, for different months. And to do that, I'm going to drag order date to the columns. And I'll change the level of detail from year to month. And second, I'm going to drag profit and sales to the raw shelf. So this basically I have two charts. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this chart dual, which is basically uh, the dual axis chart. And to do that, I'm going to uh, to go to sum of cells, open the drop down menu, and you're going to see down here dual axis. So I'll select that one to make it dual. And then something else that you can do is you can synchronize the axis. And uh, by synchronizing the axis means uh, you trying to make the axis uh, equal of the two of the two of the two um, measures you're trying to visualize here, and this is a very uh, is a decision that you're going to make as a, as an analyst because uh, this act will always have an impact on your chart. And let, let's see by this chart. Huh? If you look at uh, the sum of sales, the figures are way higher than the sum of. Uh, the, the profit sales, the, the profit figures. Meaning, if we synchronize, or rather if we make the axis the same, uh, in most cases we're going to have, um, we may make one of the chart um, invisible if uh, the metrics are, are, are so low. And therefore, it, it's upon yourself to weigh between when to synchronize and when not to. And therefore, in this case, I may find not uh, necessary to synchronize so let me uncheck synchronize and now here I want to show where we normally play around to create the combo chart this is basically a combo chart and basically uh, is a combo chart only that we're representing uh, the two charts as line charts but let's first of all do by what we've uh, we've used to that is a bar chart and a line chart and what to do that so basically we we'll come to some profit and I'll change this chart to a bar chart and the other chart is a line chart so you can see this is what we've used to as a combo chart or a combination chart and therefore uh, I want just to show you other combination that you can uh, represent or rather you can use to represent your data uh, you may decide uh, instead of having a bar chart we may choose a different chart like let's say uh, an area chart right and still this is a combo chart you may also want to represent maybe uh, use bar charts but different widths so i'm going to choose this to be a bar chart and also some cells i'm going to make it a bar chart but now what i'm going to do i'm going to make some cells uh, a little bit thinner and you can see this is still a combo chart, but now um, we've used to know it uh, as a bar in a bar chart, right? But it's still a combo chart. So that's another um, way to represent that data. I can also make one of the charts a circle. And in this case, I prefer to choose, let's say, uh, the sum profit, I'll make it a circle. And, okay, let me make this one a bar chart and some of SARS a circle. I'm doing that because I, I can see some of SARS is in front of the other chart. And I'll make the bars a little bit thinner. 
okay let's make the circles a little bit uh, larger all right so if this data if you were representing the same uh, metric then in this case it would be a, 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 a bubble not a bubble but a lollipop chart but because the metrics are different some of size and profit as you can see it's some sort of distorted but basically this is also uh, a lollipop chart and that's why i'm also telling you a lollipop chart is also a combo chart only that it has another uh, name, name convention for that case and there are other variations of charts that you can uh, represent uh, other variations of combo charts and they're going to go by all manner of names i know you know a donut chart donut chart is simply two circles laid on top of one another so it's basically a combo chart we have also a divergent bar chart it's also a combo chart right we also have a bump chart it's a combo chart whereby we compiling a line chart and circles and some sort of a table calculations there computations and we also have a Pareto chart is a combo chart we also have dumped chart is a combo chart slope chart is a combo chart so basically there are so many variations that you can use to represent or rather to visualize uh, uh, multiple uh, data sets and probably um, uh, I, I know in one of the on the, on the videos to come we'll be sharing that although in this um, same video down there I've also given the links uh, to some of the articles we've written on those charts whereby you can probably visit and log on to them and therefore um, I believe now you know some other ways to visualize combine or rather to show uh, combo charts and I believe uh, um next time you're going to to bring some excitement you know uh, you represent such uh information so instead just sticking to what we've used as uh, to know as competence so thank you so much and